I want to read today from a passage in Hebrews chapter 10, beginning in verse 19. Therefore, brethren, since we have confidence to enter the holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he inaugurated for us through the veil, that is his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds, not forsaking our own assembling together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Now that's a little bit of a lengthy passage and it has a lot of theology in it. Um, but I want to pull out three phrases that the writer to the Hebrews uses that I think we can both easily understand and easily put into practice. The first one is in verse 22, and he says, let us draw near. Well, what is he talking about? He's talking about, let us draw near to this great high priest that we have, Jesus Christ, who is the mediator between us and God, who made a way for us to have a relationship with God. And so we are encouraged here to draw near. And then in verse 23, he says, let us hold fast the confession of our faith without wavering. And that's a challenge for us as we draw near to Jesus to hold fast to the truth that we know, to let that be the bedrock of our lives. And then in verse 24, let us consider, well, what are we to consider? How to stimulate or encourage one another to love and good deeds. And then he goes on to say, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves um, together. And, you know, sometimes I think in these days we have been um, tempted to think, well, how can we uphold this command to not forsake the assembling of ourselves together? But this book of Hebrews was written to Christians who were being persecuted. They were not gathering in large groups um, to worship. They were gathering as they could. They were worshiping as they could. And so the, the encouragement to draw near, to hold fast, and then to consider how to encourage one another in the midst of this difficult time is really appropriate for us today. So I would encourage you today, draw near, draw near to Jesus by reading in the word, by meditating on the promises of God. Hold fast to what you know, even when circumstances seem to indicate differently than what you know. Hold fast to the truth of God's word and then consider how in the midst of this time with the knowledge that we have from holding fast to God's word, how can we encourage one another to love and to good deeds so that the world around us will see our Savior and be drawn to him.